Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today's video is going to be tips on if you want to start working with animals. Some things that I've learned in my experience that I think you guys may find helpful. Now, if you're new here, I typically post videos on venomous snakes, such as this beautiful banded snouted cobra. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. Now I went live for the first time yesterday. And if you watched it, you learn that I have ADHD and it's hard for me to stay on track or stay focused. So that live was supposed to be on this topic, but after watching it, I realized how much I drift off, how much I lose focus and repeat the same things over and over. So I kind of wanted to just summarize what I was talking about in one concise video. So my experience, my journey, I grew up loving snakes, always dreamed of working with them. And then one day I decided, you know, I'm gonna actually start pursuing that. So I went to school, got a degree in biology. Now while I was going to school, I went to a local facility, rescue facility that has tons of venomous snakes and other animals and asked if he could show me some things about snakes. So at that time I had about five snakes, one of them venomous. So I just went there, asked if I, he could show me some things after they closed. From there, he said he was hiring. So I applied. So there's one of my first tips is reaching out to those around you. Talk to them, see if they can show you things, learn from them. And another thing is to be honest with yourself. What's the motive behind you wanting to work with them? Is it because you truly, that's your passion, that's what you want to do? Or is it just because you want to get cool videos and pictures? Because if that's the case, it's not going to go well. From there, I applied, started working. Didn't work with any of the reptiles or any of the animals that could potentially harm me. The beginning was working in the petting zoo area, picking up poop, keeping an eye on the public and just making sure that they're following the rules. From there, I just continued doing what I was told, working hard, and over time, I began working with some of the other animals, feeding, cleaning their enclosures. From that point, still continuing to show that I could be trusted and follow his rules on working with the animals and showing that I was hardworking, remaining off my phone, that's a big one because it seems nowadays people growing up cannot put their phone down even at work and that's gonna cause issues especially when working with animals you need to be focused so at some point I asked if I could work with the non-venomous snakes and he he allowed me to he watched how I handled them watched how I worked with them saw that I knew what I was doing over time just continued working with the non-venomous snakes so the big major tip is being honest with your boss or employees, whoever it is. When I was working with the non-venomous, for instance, if something happened, even if it's something simple, I went and told them right away. For instance, if I'm cleaning an enclosure and a snake flew out, fell on the ground, and I had to pick it up and put it back, or while feeding, for instance, if that happened, I went and told them right away, hey, this happened. That builds more trust. And then over time, I asked if I could work with the smaller venomous snakes using just the hook, no tailing. Again, one situation that happened, Mojave rattlesnake was going behind something and I had to tail it, put it back, went and told them right away, built more trust, showed that I was willing to be honest even when he's not looking. And that works out. You work your way up. And from there, it just kept going up. And now I can work with all the animals and he doesn't have to worry. Another thing is being honest with yourself. If you are uncomfortable in a situation, don't be afraid to speak up, know your limits. 
don't get yourself in a situation where problems are gonna happen. So yeah, know your limits. If there's something you're uncomfortable with, an animal you're uncomfortable with working with, you let the person know. And that's also gonna show them that you're willing to do what it takes to be safe and responsible and be trusted. All right, some more tips. Depending on the situation where what you're trying to do, like if you're gonna be a zookeeper, for instance, a major thing to know is you're going, it's going to involve the public and the public is gonna disappoint you. They're gonna tease the animals. They're gonna say things to you rudely and you gotta know how to handle that situation, not respond out of emotion and say something you're gonna regret but being able to educate them the best you can and go from there. But yes, that's one of the major things still to this day that's hard for me to deal with when people are throwing rocks at the monkeys, tapping on the snake glass after being told from the start not to do that. It's gonna make you lose faith in humanity, but you also get the chance of educating people and converting them, not just to like snakes, even if it's not that, you can convert them to respect them and no longer kill them. Educate them to call somebody to come remove it safely and relocate it. But yes, these are tips that I hope if you're interested in working with animals, and I think these tips can be used for any career path. Being honest, working hard, staying off your phone. And then another aspect with the animals I forgot to mention is a lot of people want to just work with animals and take pictures and videos, but it's not like that. Like I said, you start doing simple things and you move your way up. And if you're just wanting to take pictures and videos and not actually learn and live out your passion, you're not gonna get anywhere. You're gonna ruin all that trust and your the door's gonna close before you even get your foot in it. But I hope you guys found some use in this video. Love you all. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll be back soon with another video. Take care.